Ligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Nilulwalhati ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Sinasamba ka namin Pinipintuho ka namin Aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Iligtas mo kami Before the Mass, prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass, Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect.
Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sin asamba canami, pinipintu ho canami, aralmo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Good afternoon sisters and brothers In order to preserve the solemnity of our celebration We request to please turn off your cell phones Or put them in silent mode Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. The image of the Black Nazarene of Quiapo is here with us and will stay until tomorrow. The chapel will remain open until 11 p.m. and there will be an additional mass at 8 p.m. Tomorrow morning, the chapel will open at 8.30. Farewell mass will be at 12.15 p.m. We again knock at your hearts to help us give a Christmas gift to our Love a Parish program beneficiaries through our yearly Stars of Grace campaign. You may visit the chapel office for your donation. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is January 3 and we celebrate the Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father June Sescon. Please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God, who sent His Son to save all peoples. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Mass on the solemnity of the Epiphany of our Lord. Jesus is revealed to all nations and all peoples as the Savior of the world. And as we continue to give thanks to God for this new year, as we continue to give thanks to God for His revelation, we at Greenbelt Chapel are so blessed that as I welcome you, join me in welcoming Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno de Quiapo. Let's give the Señor a clap offering. We ask the Lord Jesus, the Savior of the world, the light of all peoples, to lead us in this journey of the new year. Just as the star led the wise men, let us allow Jesus to lead us. 
To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and beg the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your presence filled the hearts of the Magi with great joy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to bring light to a darkened world with the splendor of your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May our loving God have mercy on us, grant us healing and peace, teach us to forgive one another, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, Grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the holy gospel. Together, we saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. When Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, they prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, dear sisters and brothers, and once again, welcome to Greenbelt Chapel on this solemnity of the epiphany of our Lord. And thank you for coming over despite the risk of the pandemic and the bad weather, we are here. We also welcome those who are joining us online, the homebound, the sick, those who are taking care of the sick, and those who are restricted during this time of pandemic. We are here as we continue to relish the new year. But most especially, the Senor is here as we prepare for his fiesta this January 9. We are so glad that as we are here, he is also here. Pwede bang palakpakan uli natin ang mahal na Senor? And it is very, very nice that as we continue to celebrate this solemnity, we are reminded that our Lord is a God of revelation, epiphany. That is what epiphany means. Although, of course, our traditional greeting is happy three kings, the real name of this feast is epiphany. Epiphany means manifestation, pagpapakita. At tamang-tama nga po, nagpakita rin sa atin ngayon ng mahal na Senyor. Hindi na tayo kailangan pumunta sa Kiyapo. Siya ang nagpunta sa atin. And that is really our Lord. He is the one looking for us. He is the one searching for us. He is the one who is approaching us. This visit of the Senor is truly a good reminder. Ang Diyos ang siyang dumadalaw. Ang Diyos ang siyang lumalapit. Ang Diyos ang siyang nagpapakita. There was a rich man who was greedy, selfish, and had a few friends. And one night, as he was sleeping, he heard a noise at his roof. And so he went up, and when he opened the window, he saw his friend there at the roof. And he said, what are you doing there? It's already midnight. I'm already sleeping. And the friend said, I am looking for my horse here. And of course, the rich man was so angry and said, You are a fool. Why are you looking for your horse there? And the friend looked at him and said, You're more foolish than I am. For you're looking for God in your riches, in your selfishness, in your possessions. Sisters and brothers, if there is one thing the epiphany and the story of the wise men would want to remind us, we are all looking for God. We are all looking for God. Whether you know it or not, whether you realize it or not, whether you like it or not, we are all looking for God. Perhaps you, can, you would tell me, Father, I'm not really looking for God. I'm looking for happiness. You are looking for God. I'm looking for a good relationship. Kaya nga pumunta ako dito eh. May dadasal ako sa Senyor to give me a good relationship. You are looking for God. Father, I'm looking for success in my career, in my business. You are looking for God because the bottom line of all our searches, the end and ultimate goal of our searches is God. 
And the next question that we could perhaps answer is this. Where are you looking for God? Where are you looking for God? San mo hinahanap ang Diyos? Or perhaps I could ask you, have you found God? Nakita mo na ba ang Diyos? Nakita mo na ba si Jesus? Today, we heard the story of the wise men. And these are the characters we are so enamored. We find them so magical and mystical. They are a favorite from, for peoples. Why? Because they mirror us. Just as they were searching for the Christ child, just as they face all the dangers of that long travel, just as they had that great adventure, so are we. We are very much like them. We are searching for God. And what is the secret of the wise men? What enabled them to discover the Christ child? The star. The star led them to Jesus. And that is precisely how they look at the star. The star is a pointer, a cursor to Jesus. And that is why we love them. That's why here at Greenbelt, you notice all our bridges are filled with stars. Isn't it that the star is really our national symbol for Christmas? Kaya nga tuwan-tuwa tayo nung ginamit ng Disney World, no? from our family to yours, yung parol natin. Because that is really the symbol of our celebration of Christmas. But sisters and br brothers, precisely, the star is simply a pointer, a cursor. The star is not the main thing. It is the star that will lead us to God. And you know what, sisters and brothers? We all have stars. God, in His goodness and generosity, has given us stars. But then, how come, Father, if we say we have stars, how come we have not yet found Jesus? Could it be that we forget that very important lesson? Stars are just pointers. Stars are not ends in themselves. What are the stars given to us by the Lord? Our possessions, our career, our relationships, our prestige, our dreams, name it. Those are stars given to us by God. But as I said, stars are pointers. They are supposed to lead us closer to God. And that is why today we ask ourselves, is my career bringing me closer to God? Is my marriage, my family, my friendship bringing me closer to Jesus? What you have right now, is it bringing you closer to God? Or you end up only there? Remember, the stars are pointers. They bring us closer they are not the destination. That's why the wise men found Jesus. There is a saying, a wise man points at the moon, but the fool looks at the finger. Di ba ho, mga nakalipas na araw, ang ganda ng buwan, full moon. Did you look at the finger or at the moon? The wise man points at the moon. The fool looks at the finger. But sad to say, sometimes we just look at the finger. We look at the stars. We did not proceed 
to look at Jesus. We pray that the stars we have right now may bring us closer to God. In the gospel, we heard the wise men confronted King Herod and the chief priests and the scribes and the scholars of the law. Notice, when, they asked, when Herod asked his advisors, where is this king? Notice, they already know the answer. Bethlehem. The wise men did not know it, but the people in Jerusalem already know the answer. But they were the ones who did not find Jesus. They already had the star, the word of God, their faith. But they still did not discover Jesus. Sisters and brothers, that is also a warning for us. We can have all our pious deeds. Pwede ho tayo magsimba, magserve, gumawa ng kawanggawa, magnobena, magprosesyon, magbible study, magkatekisim, magtheology. But if all of these are not bringing us to Jesus, we are no different from the scribes in Jerusalem. They know where the Christ child was, but they did not encounter him. It is not enough that we have the theology, the catechism, the religious and charitable and pious deeds. What we need is to encounter the Lord. And when we encounter the Lord, what happened to the wise men? After manifestation, there was oblation and mission. Manifestation, pagpapakita, kung gusto mo raw pong malaman, nakita ko ba talaga ang Diyos? O huminto lang ako sa star? Dapat daw ang mangyari after manifestation, after the epiphany, is oblation and mission. Oblation, conversion, pagbibigay. Just as they gave, as they gave gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we are also to give our lives to God. Ang tunay na nakatagpo sa Diyos, hindi pakabig. Kung hindi bukas palad, bukas puso, at nag-aalay ng sarili, just like what happened to the wise men. If we have not yet reached that stage, oblation and mission, then perhaps we are just looking at the star. We have not yet been led to the Christ child. Herod, Herod was given a star. Herod was given the wise men. He was given the opportunity to encounter Jesus. He was given power. He was given the authority. Ibinigay sa kanya lahat para matagpuan niya ang Diyos. Pero hindi pa rin niya natagpuan. Let us pray for each other that we may discover the stars in our lives. But remember, do not stop at the stars. Those stars are pointers to God. At sa pagdalo ng mahal na Senyor, meron din po siyang isang gustong ipaalala sa atin. Ang krus ay tala din. Kaya nga hindi niya binitawa ng krus. Kaya nga kahit halos dumada pa na siya, bumabangon pa rin siya. Dahil sa krus, itinuturo pa rin ang Ama. Itinuturo pa rin ng Diyos. Ang mga krus natin ngayong pinagdadaanan ay mga tala din. Masaklap man minsan, mabigat man minsan, Pero ito rin ay paraan na ginagamit ng Diyos para ituro 
siya sa buhay natin. As we look at the Senior, let us also offer the crosses of our lives. And I hope when you look at your crosses, you do not only see burdens and pains. When you look at your crosses, you also see stars. You also see God. Let's pause for a while. And let us thank the Lord in His generosity and goodness. He has given us so many things. And these are all meant to be stars, pointers, cursors, so that we may discover Him. So that in discovering Him, there may be oblation and mission in our lives. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and power salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to charge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by the example of the Magi, we present our gifts and petitions to the Lord, saying, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the church, the new Jerusalem, to which the Lord calls all the peoples of the world, may she always be a resplendent sign of God's universal love. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may their teaching and example be like bright stars that lead people to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For our missionaries who strive to bring the light of the Christian faith to those who do not know it, may they succeed in integrating the gospel values with the local cultures. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For each of one, one of us gathered here, may we always follow the guidance of God's word as proclaimed by the church. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For an end to the pandemic, that God may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, and comfort to families. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Let us pray in silence for personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, like Jerusalem, we rise up in splendor because your light has come. May our behavior become like a star that leads others to you, who live and shine forever and ever. Amen. Ako'y 
Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. So cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. Every Mass is an epiphany, for Jesus is revealed to us. Jesus is with us. Let us open our hearts, offer ourselves to the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We give you thanks for you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Padre Pio, St. John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, let us now call on our loving Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and now you're saying it to all of us here, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, do not look on our sins. Forgive us, Lord, when we end with your pointers. We get fixated with the stars that we forget they are supposed to lead us to you. Lord, teach us to offer. Teach us to be on mission and look on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other Christ's peace.
Behold Jesus Christ, the light and salvation of all peoples, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel and pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. All together, God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for Pray us. St. Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. St. Rock, Pray for us. St. Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. St. Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise and thank the Lord for our servants and staff who are helping us ensure safety and order in our religious services. Sila po ang mga katulad ng mga wise men na nag-aalay, nagbabahagi ng kanilang panahon at lakas. Salamat po sa kanila, kaya tayo may mga misa kahit may pandemya. And thank you also to everybody, especially to you who physically came over, braving everything. Ang mga nakatayo po dyan, halos nauulan na na. Salamat po sa inyong pagpunta at uh, ito, patuloy po natin ipagdasal sa mahal na Senyor na hindi lang tayo ihatid sa mga tala, bagkos yung mga tala ay magatid sa atin sa Kanya sa tunay na pagbabago. Sabi nga raw po ng aking spiritual director, wag lang tayong magdasal sa Senyor at sabi niya atin, Senyor, salamat dahil sa inyo, Di ba, minsan dinadasal natin yan, natagpuan ko ang asawa ko. No? Dahil sa inyo, nakita ko yung trabaho ko. Dahil sa inyo, nakita ko ang pangarap ko. Okay daw po yun, pero first part lang daw po yun. Dapat bandang huli, masabi natin, Mahal na Senyor, salamat dahil sa asawa ko, nakita ko kayo. Nakita niyo po yung pagkakaiba? Mahal na Senyor, salamat po dahil sa trabaho ko, nakita ko kayo. Dahil po sa ibinigay niyo sa akin, mas nakita ko kayo. Wag lang po tayo dun sa ano yung pinakita sa atin ng Senyor. Kaya may ibibigay siya sa atin upang lalo natin siyang makita, upang lalo tayong mapalapit sa Diyos. Kaya kung may ibibigay man sa atin, tandaan natin, ang ibinibigay ng mahal ni Senyor, ay parang mga tala. Tinuturo pa rin siya. Kahit krus, 
ang ibigay sa atin. At alam ko lahat tayo ngayon may mga krus na daladala, dalo na dahil sa pandemyang ito. Huwag po tayo mawala ng pag-asa, huwag tayo mawala ng loob, dahil maging ang krus ay pwedeng maging tala. At sa pagtingin natin sa mahal na Senyor, siguro nga ho, mukha siyang nadadapa, mukha siyang bumabagsak, pero sabi nga po ng mga pari sa Kiyapo, hindi po siya pabagsak. Paahon po siya. Patayo po siya. At yun ang idasal natin. Later on, after the final blessing, no, sa final blessing nga po, ipagdasal natin yung mga hindi makapunta dito, pero alam natin kailangan din nila ang tulong na mahal na Senyor. Kailangan din nilang idilat ang kanilang mga mata, buksan ang puso, para makita ang mga tala at higit sa lahat, makita ang Diyos sa pandemyang ito. And after the final blessing, we cannot touch the Senior for safety reasons. But I invite you to let Jesus touch you. Hindi po natin may papahid yung mga panyong ibinigay sa inyo ngayon. Pero mamaya sa pag-awit natin ng huling uh, pang-awit, Taas natin, natayaan natin na ang Panginoon ng humawak dito. At pag-uwi, kung meron kayong may sakit, nangangailangan, nalilito, nahihirapan, ibahagi nyo rin sa kanila ang karanasan, ang tala, maging tala din po kayo sa mga taong wala ngayon dito. In that way, tunay naging mabunga ang pagdalaw sa atin ng mahal na Senyor. So right now, as I give the final blessing, remember in prayer people who need to see the light, who need to see the salvation of God, the healing of God, the guidance of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God has called you out of darkness on this, into his wonderful light, may you experience his kindness and be strong in faith, hope, and love. Amen. The Magi found Jesus Christ by following the star of God's guidance. May your good example lead others closer to Jesus. Amen. May you have the persevering faith and generosity of the wise men and be rewarded with the Lord's presence. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Siya nga ho pala, nais kong pasalamatan, at samahan niyo po kong pasalamatan ang mga ihos at mga servants galing sa Kiapo Church na nagdala sa atin ng mahal na Senyor. Salamat po sa inyo sa pangunguna po ni Monsignor Ding Coronel. The Mass has been offered. Let us go. Follow the star. But more importantly, end up in encountering Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Bigyan natin uli ang mahal na Senyor ng masigabong palakpakan. And let us put up our handkerchief. We cannot touch the Senyor, but let the Senyor touch us.